In this video, we go over five important setup options in Tractor Pro 2. Find out which ones those are, coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials to DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so let's go over five preference options that I think are important. So let's go ahead and open the preferences, and let's start right here at the audio setup tab. The first one I'd like to talk about is latency. Always make sure that your latency is set up to the most optimal setting possible. So if you're looking for better scratch control, you're going to want to put it as far to the left as possible without your system actually giving you hiccups or audio dropouts. This is going to give you more precise control and uh, be more responsive. But if you're using a more uh, legacy machine or an older computer, you want to scoot it over to the right. You're going to lose some of the responsiveness, but if you're just doing basic mixing and beat matching and blending, it's not going to be that apparent and you're going to get better performance because your computer uh, has more memory to keep up. I like to keep it around 512. To me, it gives a pretty good scratch response. Uh, very responsive on the jog wheels if you're using controller or Serato in HID mode or vinyl. And um, still gives me enough room for memory where I don't get any dropouts. Next, we're going to go to transport. And right here, we're going to go to key lock. Make sure that both of these are on the fast CPU setting if you're using a more modern computer. I would say anything from the last three years or four years, you should be able to use uh, these two settings. This is going to give you better quality key lock. It's going to sound better than if you were using the lower settings. It's not going to sound as grainy, uh, higher quality, and your mixes are just going to sound better. Also tied to this too, um, if, you're, or if you are using a more modern computer, you probably have multi-cores on your uh, processor like any of the Intel uh, i3, i5, i7s, etc. So make sure this is clicked as well. Next, <clears throat> I would say right down here for beat counter, make sure your bars to phrase is all the way down to zero bars. This comes in handy when using beats to cue. So these go hand in hand. So make sure your bar counter right here is at zero bars. Then in the track decks, make sure that you have beats to cue put somewhere. Beats to cue basically gives you a countdown between uh, cue points, which is helpful when phrasing mixes. Uh, you can use it as a tool to phrase mixes. I have a video on that. I'll go ahead and link that up in the card uh, at the top right now. So go ahead and check out Beats to cue. That also leads to this right here. An another important option is your deck header. This is actually, to me, one of the best reasons to use Tractor. It gives you the option to customize your deck header so you can pick where you want your title, your time remaining, your artist, etc. And you get all these options. So you're not stuck to the one format or the one layout of your track information in the deck. You can actually customize it and make it your own. So find which uh, options are best for you or you can turn them off and have less options if you want a more uh, cleaner track deck. So find which ones work for you and customize it because that's one of the beauties of Tractor. You get more customization than a lot of other DJ software. And the last important preference option that I'd like to mention in this video is the color mode of the waveform. Right here, you can have it set to four different settings. You can have ultraviolet, infrared, x-ray, or spectrum. Spectrum is going to give you the colorful waveform that you see in software like Serato DJ. The other ones are more uh, single color, so you can get a waveform that looks kind of like what you'd see on uh, the CDJ2000 Nexus. Some people like the single colored waveform, others prefer the more... Um, colorful waveform that gives you more information about the kind of uh, audio content that's in the file. So it's up to you uh, what you like and this is an option that uh, software like Serato doesn't have. So make sure you have it set up to uh, how you like it. Me, I come from Serato uh, so Spectrum works out for me the best. So that's a look at five important setup options in Tractor Pro 2. So question of the day, which one of these is most interesting to you? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.